Um, I felt very lucky to be in the superbike class, to be honest, to start it off. Um, obviously, I was very grateful at the start of the season and all the way through for, for Steve and the Suzuki team um, giving me a chance that no one else gave me. So, yeah, I have to thank them for that. And obviously, I had a, a good bike as well, which gave me, obviously, a couple of race wins at Silverstone and put my name a little bit further out there. And, um, yeah, it was a good season. Uh, I think we could have had a couple more good results, uh, especially at places like Snetterton and stuff, but we had a couple of mechanicals, unfortunately. So. Yeah, good season, but bad at the same time. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it was only three years ago. Um, I packed in for a bit, a couple of months, because I was just sick of it and I wasn't enjoying it. So, yeah, uh, it was probably one of the best things I ever did, because as soon as I come back, obviously I was racing Josh on the Moto2, and it was so so fun again, and brought the fire back in my belly. And ever since, um, yeah, the opportunity I got with um, Suzuki was a chance in a lifetime for me, because I never thought I'd be in the superbike class. And, uh, yeah, it all come from there, really. Um, I think the position on the first day um, didn't replicate like the lap time. Uh, the lap time, sorry, um, it wasn't particularly fast, so I'd, I didn't get my hopes up. Even though I was in second at the end of day one, the lap time wasn't too great, so uh, I didn't get my hopes up. But the second day, obviously, we, we carried on the in the top five. Um, but yeah, Silverstone's quite hard to understand. It's not so it's not so hard to get around. There's only five corners and. It's quite easy to, to get a good toe and get a good last sector and end up doing a really fast lap time. So, yeah, I knew the speed was there for one lap, but um, yeah, the feeling on the bike's good already. I uh, didn't expect to be as fast as what I did um, straight away. So yeah, the BMW looks promising to say it's only just come only just come out, and um, I think we finished fourth overall. So I'm happy up to it. Um, with the front of the bike, it's literally like a straight switch. I can't notice any difference. Um, still carry the, the SC2 front, which I used on the Suzuki, which no one really else tries or uses. Um, and yeah, uh, I think I had a SC1 in, in Portugal for about five laps and I didn't like it straight away. So I thought I've got a good feeling straight away. Um, but the rear of the bike, we're trying to make um, a little bit better. Um, we tried all Silverstone to get um, some grip with an old tire. We kept struggling, but the last two sessions we, we figured something out and it was just a simple modification to the bike, just pushing me more back and uh, almost replicating the Suzuki really because it's got a really large tank and you, you pushed really far back. So we've replicated that and um, yeah, I've got some more bits to try now, but unfortunately it's um, blowing tents everywhere so I can't go out. Um, I know the one lap speed's kind of kind of there, uh, not far off. Um, I think it's just making a, a tyre last um, for the race distance, as um, I think Taz and Jason at Silverstone put a good run together and it was quite a bit faster than anyone else. So definitely an area to work on. Um, but I think coming to some of these tracks now, like Snetterton and Alton Park, we'll have a good un good understanding. Silverstone obviously wrecks tyres in five laps if you're not careful. So yeah, I'm excited to um, ride around here and understand the bike. I think it will give me a lot more feedback than it will do at Silverstone. But like I said, the weather's not too good. So um, yeah. We'll work as much as we can. Um, just getting that feeling back that we've not had for a good six, seven months, um, especially the one at Silverstone when I, I got a couple of trophies to take home, that feeling that, I, well, you can't replicate it anywhere. So that's one of them. And obviously the other one, um, get a bit of normality back, get all the fans back and everything and uh, get some nice weather. I think we've got a lot of races in a short period. Hopefully the weather's going to be good because we're starting in, starting in June. So yeah, I think it'll be a bit like last year. The weather should be good for the, the rest of the season. And uh, yeah, hopefully all the fans can get back and watch. Fine.